welcome everybody today I'm gonna show you how to create closet using simple way just to create a fancy one and with a few steps okay let's start first here at standard format office we're gonna select box and a top view create one mm, they are tall and height and width whatever we do here at length we just make it 50 like this say 80 for width and 100 for height Okay, about length segment we can mm, change nothing, also with width. As height segment we make it, let's say, 6, or we can make it a 9, 10, whatever number, it depends on the tool you are creating in your closet. Okay, first, now we're gonna, after we create this box, here, right click at the, at this box we created. Okay, right click, convert to editable poly. Here, at the poly, we're gonna select the top one, the top box here, or top square at this box and we make it bevel okay like this the default value is 10 with minus 1 we're gonna make it 2 with 1 not minus 1 we just remove the minus sign okay this way and we press okay let's make zoom here to see the out result mm, it's not so clear right now but let's do okay let's make zoom out like this okay also we keep this box or this square or this face is selected and make it straight like this it's with 10, we just make it around 2 ok, it's gonna be or make it 1 1 I think it's more better, ok we press ok, now we bevel again like this, but now with change, keep the height same but we make the out outline amount with minus 1, ok and we press ok we deselect now and lock, ok I just make that top for your closet which is mm, give it more details or more reality thing okay let's move on now here we add perspective we press F4 just to see all lines we have here tonight the purpose of this mm, this tutorials is show you how to use the connect thing okay our connect options here you will understand what I'm talking about when we move on okay let's like this line which is the top for the top square top line for the top square we have and also select other one by keep shift button okay we select control here and not sh not, not shift control okay we select both line. now we go to the connect and we press okay mm, it's not so clear but we have a line created here to move it around so we can see it okay now we don't change any default we just press okay now let's move this one we see this line is created okay I'm gonna tell you why we do this thing or this step. Okay, now let's select this again, select this face, and now we have two squares in not just one like others. Okay, we select all faces for this closet like this. Okay, zoom out a little. Okay, now let's make something called inset. Now we have two option inset type with its group and by poly. We just select by poly just to make this a different, not just one piece like this it's become one piece and we don't need it as a one piece so we do the by poly like this ok and make the inset amount as depends on the size you are created but in this way let's make it one and hit ok now keep this one all selected we come extrude for each faces we make it let's zoom here at the left side so we see I think it's fine to be it one by group like this or by poly then we here as you see it's gonna change nothing because we already select by bullet in the previous step so now we affect nothing so keep it for a group or whatever you want and we select ok now select edge again and here at the side view we carefully select the line for the all let's say boxes we here as you see ok ok we select chamber like this Mm, let's zoom in to see the result I think my mm, one it's too much let's make it 0.5 like this a uh half -huh, okay and we press ok now here we deselect the edge again and make it rotate so you can see the result what we done I think it's okay let's change the color so we would not keep it like this but let's make it brown so you see what we are done okay now we're gonna make a hand for each one that we need it so I will create it this time with a simple way there is a different way we can create one but 
I will try to use and blame code just a before for the class is just the connect and set use more options. Okay, so let's fill like this here and make it around this size. It's become good. Okay, now select and move here and double bring it out. We make it zoom. Okay, now select the sphere is selected. Right click, convert to a double polygon, but n this time for the sphere, we select poly and select the half of this sphere. Okay, now scale like this. Okay, at the X view, we select it like this and make it a little more like this. Okay, now at the top view, as you see, it's look good and fun, but let's show you what the 3D purpose or how we can use it here. As you see, it's a still a sphere, right? So we select scale again and make the Y here more smaller and now I think more is better mark okay. now we deselect okay and select and move just a simple way maybe it's not a professional way to create a hand for each one but it's fine and it can be one we make a copy as I told you before how to make a copy okay let's do it again maybe I remind you we select the object we need to make a copy shift key and select and move in the place you want it copy instant reference let's say copy now okay now we select both again like this sorry select both control keep control control and select any object you want now we make copy select both select shift key and move down on the place you want it okay now we need one copy two three one two three four five let's make a five copy it will repeat this this copy operation on the same distance between each one and we hit OK. Now we have this one. OK. OK. Now let's say to change color for them. Let's make it um, white. White can be OK, I think. It's OK. Sure, we can use uh, a texture for this one, but let's say this one, make render. That's what I'm talking about. It's a just a simple way to create. We can add more details or let's say make it more real. Let me show you how we can do that. Let's select close it again. And here, select edge. And let's select this time. Do the thing. Let's just make a zoom. Sorry, not that one. Okay. Select these lines. This one, two, three, four. Mm, I will. Let's make it. You can do that alone, but I will show you a simple way. Sorry, this one. One. Sorry, this one. Okay. And make it charm again. But not this time. Not that much. Okay. And just to kill, let's say the hard edge for each one. Okay, I'll say we can do it with this one again. You can select any line you want and chomp just to make it, let's say, kill the edge or the hop edge or each one, which is give you more real thing or more real view like this. Okay, we can do it again and sure, you can add more details for each one. And I think I'm done right now. Let's say a view to show you how the hands look. It's look fine, I think. It's not professional on no part. It's fine for beginners and don't need much time anyway thanks thanks for joining and see you later with other tutorials thanks a lot bye